Rad, and we are joining everybody here on Zoom and Facebook Live for week two of the Invigorate series of Anti-Fitness Fitness Club. So there's a couple of folks over at the headquarters of Live Love Spy. See you guys all at the office. Um, and thank you guys for coming to be with us today. We're going to start with a um, brief chat about aromatherapy 101. Uh, everything here in life has energy or frequency and it's measurable in megahertz. Notice how day to day, hour to hour and where you're at Sometimes when you're out in the hustle and bustle in town, or if you're out in nature, you'll notice how the overall energy around us can also affect our body, our mind, and our spirit and emotions. So essential oils have frequencies too, and they can help us realign emotionally, mentally, physically, and spiritually. Essential oils have been shown to have high frequencies that can influence our emotions and create grounding environments where disease, bacteria, viruses, and fungi cannot survive. So these are great ways to add to our self-care. So everybody who has essential oils nearby, today I have the Young Living essential oils with me. I also have my diffuser set up. So it's easy to diffuse in uh, a small body of water here, six to 10 drops on your diffuser size. This is about a hand size. If you have any smaller ones, be cautious and mindful and start with one to three drops in your diffuser. And sometimes it can make the aroma, aroma and the environment strong. So definitely start small. Today I have five drops each of tangerine, lime, and grapefruit in my diffuser for an energizing day to start. Um, and what we're going to do is what I have is peppermint. Peppermint is really strong. If you have peppermint, be careful around your nasal passages and eyes. What we're going to do is first start with peppermint. We're gonna open it up and wave it gently under your nose and slowly take deep breaths in. One breath, two breath, three breaths. And this is to help open up our lungs and energize our workout and prepare our body if you have a citrus like Amy, take your citrus oil. So for example, she says she has sweet orange, one of her favorites. I really like lime and grapefruit. I'm sorry, lemon and grapefruit. So for citrus oils in the morning, I will take both of these and then I will take a few whiffs. Deep breaths in and deep breaths out. So this is just going to start our workout, okay? Citrus oils are photosensitive. And so if you are going to go outside, do not apply any citrus oil onto skin. Again, I'm gonna say this, citrus oils make your skin a lot more sensitive. So do not apply any citrus oils right before going outside. So I'm coming back to my peppermint. I'm going to open it up and put one, two drops in my hand. One, two, it comes out real quick. I'm going to close that up, rub it in my hands and gently bring it across the top of my chest, my sternum. If you have a tank top open shirt, it's fine to touch skin in the top of chest. Rub it nice and deep and bring the aroma around your head face. Do not touch your nose or eyes. Bring it around and around your face. And then go ahead and gently tap the back of your top of shoulders, the back of the lungs. So we're preparing and opening up our whole upper body for our workout. And I generally like to give my whole arms and wrap it right around my wrists. These are areas that will help give us the aroma here as well. Okay, clear your mats here. So you have space. We're gonna start on all fours and we're going to start with some cat cows. Make sure your essential oils are put aside and not in your way. 
And last week was a slow, deep kind of stretch session. This time it's gonna be some stretch, some burn, and it's gonna flow a little bit faster, all right? Everybody on hands and knees, gentle uh, bend to your elbows and add a few gentle warm-ups, push-ups. Deep breaths in, deep breaths out. Keep it moving. And then cat cows, extend through the spine. Flatten, reach your head up high. Deep breath in, take in the aroma of peppermint. Deep breaths out. If you didn't have anything but had lavender, that's a great way to start uh, morning as well. Gently add some movements into your wrists and knees. We're gonna work onto our side. I'm gonna turn my whole body over on one side and levitate my weight on one arm and one knee. Deep breath in and out. And when you're ready, we're going to bring our supporting knee to the other leg into a side plank. Deep breath in, engage your sides here. Deep breaths in and out. Reach your free arm forward, giving yourself a side stretch. Bring it back. And then let's add a couple small crunches if you can. Feel the burn in your arm. Engage your whole core in a side crunch. Deep breath in, three to five of these. And then let's bring it down to the other hand, other side. Other hand, other side. One leg supported, bring yourself out into a side stretch. And in another breath, we're gonna push our supporting leg up to meet our other leg into a side plank. Deep breath in and out. Make sure to squeeze your sides hard. Wanna feel that burn through our side crunches. And then a few small side push-ups if you can. Deep breath in and out. This is definitely challenging your balance. We're gonna have some more balance challenges a little bit later. Come into plank. Deep breath in, deep breath out, and slowly lower your body down. Five, four, three, hold it. Two, hold it. One, now let yourself relax. Woo, deep breath in and deep breath out. Put your elbows under your shoulders. Bring yourself a stretch through your core into Sphinx pose. Move your head over each shoulder. And then we're gonna slowly push up up. You can do assisted push-ups. We're gonna do three to five of these. However many assisted push-ups you can do or full plank push-ups. Here we go, three, two, one. Widen your legs as wide as the yoga mat and bring yourself down into another two push-ups. One, two. Bring your legs together, push yourself up into a downward dog, stretch it out, add organic movements to each knee, bend each knee and give yourself a breath or two to normalize and ground yourself. Before we go into single leg strengthening exercises, okay? Deep breath in and out, raise your right leg up high. Bring it under yourself, tuck to your left elbow, push it up high. Bring it in, tuck to your right elbow, push it up high. Back to the left elbow, hold in the center for as long as you can, last couple of breaths. And then put your leg down, push yourself up into crescent pose. In crescent pose, I want you guys to feel some movement in your crescent lunge. We're going to deepen that lunge, bend your back knee, come down to the ground. Three to five of these, whatever you feel comfortable doing. Three, two, one. Open up your twist. If you have a right-sided lunge, you're gonna open your body up to the right side. Twist through your whole back. Three lunges, three, two, one. Come back to crescent, rest in your grounded posture and open up into warrior two. Deep breath in, feel your warrior two here before we switch to the other side. 
Everybody pivot on your two feet and we're going to bring our warrior two to face the other side. Deep in that lunge, find your hips square and we're going to bring ourselves into crescent facing the other direction. Here we go, ready? Crescent lunge, maybe adjust. Find that posture, deep lunges. Five, four, three. You should feel the burn in your hips, your quads, your hip flexors. Two, one. If you have your left leg forward, open up your stretch to the left side of the room. Deep breath in, twist in the spine. Three, lunges. Three, two, one. Open that up to your original warrior two. Are you guys feeling that burn through your legs, through your hip flexors? All right, everybody found them in warrior two. We're gonna come into horse pose. Bring both legs out into a straddle lunge. Horse pose, deep breaths in, deep breaths out. We're gonna bring three to five deep lunges here. Five, four, three, two, one. Place your hands on your legs. Give yourself a twist and another twist. I got a lot of snap, crackle, pops here. One more twist. The other side. We're gonna bring our legs to the center now in an awkward kind of way. Bring our arms up high and bring ourselves into our forward fold. Deep breath in, deep breath out. In your forward fold, you're gonna take your right hand Place it on the left foot and then bring your arms open in a twist. And then let's switch to the other side. Take your left hand to the right foot, add yourself a twist. And then we're going to come into our chair pose, our last leg and bun burner. So feet together. Ankles touching, slowly sit into a chair pose. Bring your arms up high, sit your bum as low as you can. If you have a few extra ounces of energy, you can have some pulses here. Deep pulses, five, four, three, two, one. Deep breath, come onto your tippy toes, raise them up high, have a neutral spine. This is called flying bird, drinking bird, and then come back down, forward fold rest. Shake out your legs, take the next breath or two, minute or two to settle yourself and sit on down. Whew. Did anybody feel a slight burn in their legs, butt, low back, totally did. I also have some sweat dripping down the sides of my face and my head and I hope you don't sound as out of breath as I do. <laughs> Everybody back to sitting, back to sitting and we're going to actually grab our, um, for those of you who have the citrus oils, grab your citrus oil. What I'm going to do is I'm going to apply lavender and then I'm going to apply Valor. Valor and lavender, these are a number of oils that are in the Young Living Welcome Home Kit. If you don't have these oils, whatever oils you have is fine. We're going to apply topically onto our skin now and we're gonna put it on the bottoms of our feet. They have large pores. The skin is also much less sensitive than sensitive skin around our ears and our eyes. So applying a couple drops onto our feet is gonna be the way to massage it into our feet. So we're gonna layer them on. We're gonna start with lavender. And can everybody see my feet here in the video? 
I'm going to open up my lavender. And what I'm going to do is just gently tap my foot. I'm gonna tap at the big toe, tap at the ball of my feet, tap in the arch, and then tap in the heel. Then I'm gonna put my two feet together and rub it all around. And since essential oils are so pure and they diffuse such so rapidly, they get readily absorbed very quickly into the bottom of the feet. Now I'm going to take Valor. Valor has frankincense, grounding, um, grounding wood and a well-rounded floral essence. And also um, its main ingredients is frankincense as well as lavender and blue tansy. So it has a little bit of blue essence. So I tapped it in on my feet. The head correlates with the big toe. So if you need some grounding before bed, put a couple drops here right next to the big toe. I've rubbed it onto both sides of feet and I can still feel a little of the essence on the bottom. I'm gonna let it dry. And then we're going to roll out the bottom of our feet and then the rest of our spine. So go ahead and grab your rad roller and we're gonna place it onto the mat and stick one foot on top and flush it all about. So really we're just flushing, moving our foot up, down a few times on the rad roller. It looks like this on the bottom of my feet. So contacts the inner arch and the outer aspect of the foot, which is an often forgotten area of the foot when we think about massage. It's also the last two toes. And so a lot of um, folks don't have a lot of movement through the feet or toes because of the way we work with and have our feet in shoes. So that should feel very lovely. Personally, my favorite is actually to get on my knee so I can leverage a little bit more weight or to fully stand up. But right now we're just going to give our uh, feet a quick little flush before we work into the rest of our spine. So we massaged our feet. If you don't have a roller, you can go ahead and take your fingers to the inside of your foot and gently massage down the middle of your feet and then come to the outer edges and massage from the toe pads all the way down towards the heel. When you get down to the heel, grasp with your forefinger and your thumb and give it a squeeze in different areas closer to the tip and through the posterior arch and that should feel pretty good. All right, so our legs and our buns had a little bit of a burn. So we're going to go ahead and massage through all of those areas that we worked. We're taking the rod and the helix apart so that I just have the helix. If you don't have a rod helix, you can also use a foam roller or something like an axle. So some of you might have tools like this at home. Go ahead and place it in your low back area. Lean back like you're lounging in the sun and lift up your bum and put one glute onto the roller. We're not gonna do a lot of flushing here. We wanna focus in the spine. So just a few moments here, three to five flushes. We're going to flush up and down and then we're going to raise our bum and turn the helix at a diagonal. So then we kind of work at a front to side kind of diagonal. The reason why we do that is because all of the muscles in our hips here run in multiple diagonal directions. So therefore when we cross fiber, flush and we move in different directions, we can mobilize all the different layers of the tissues. So don't forget to switch sides. You might notice too that one side might be more tender or more tight than the other. So just see what you're doing during your day. You might stand with a hip dip on one side or you might notice that you work more on your right side or left side. So see what you're doing in your day to day. Take your tool, place it in your low back. Use your elbows to support you. Push from your feet, lift your bum up a little bit and flush up and down in the low back. This should feel really nice. Lean over to the right side, flush up and down on the right side. If you don't have this tool, you can also use a rolling pin. You can also use a foam roller. You can also roll up a big towel, tie some rubber bands on it and use it a little bit still like this. 
So a couple alternatives if you don't have these tools. Slowly walk your body down the mat so that you're in your middle of the spine. And then when you have a few moments to flush back and forth in the mid spine, we're gonna keep moving you all the way into the T-spine. So the space in between your shoulder blades. Deep breaths in, deep breaths out. Flushing up and down, wrap your elbows around your head. Slowly angle your body and open your right side. Gaze over your right. When you flush, you should feel the targeting right next to your right shoulder blade. Let's look over the other side. Look to the left, open up your left elbow. Deep breath in, deep breaths out. Definitely continue this at home when you have a little more space and time. And you might even notice how one side is a little bit tighter or more tender. And you might wanna focus for a few extra minutes or a few extra flushes there, all right? Have your roller come into right behind the base of your skull, right at the bottom of your head. Use your hands to tuck the tool nice and firm and snug and then flush your head by moving your head up and down, nodding yeses. And then move side to side, nodding your head no, side to side. My favorite saying is yes, keep flushing, no, don't stop. Deep breaths in, deep breaths out. And then we're going to add a few last stretches. Last stretches is going to be into our spine. So with the tool in the base of the head or with the tool in your shoulder blades, I kind of prefer my shoulder blades. So I'm going to tuck the tool, do a little sit up and put the tool right in between my shoulder blades, lay on down. I'm going to let my legs fall long and flat. And I'm going to take my left leg, bring it up in a 90 degree angle and give myself a stretch through the hip and then slowly twist it over the other side. Meanwhile, the roller is still under my shoulder blades and targeting in between the shoulder blades and the back of my shoulder. Deep breaths in, deep breaths out and then we will switch. Last thing here, we're going to do our stretch. Bring your legs down, take your right leg to your chest, stretch through the hip, and then slowly cross it across your body to the other side, so you have a twist stretch through your spine. Deep breath in and out. When you're at home, I highly recommend you explore Tuck that knee, push it out, add some hip circles, or just rest here. Deep breaths in and deep breaths out. Last moment here, bring your legs together, take your roller out from underneath your back, full body stretch, bring your arms overhead, and reach your feet for the other side of the room. See if you can pace yourself long and flat along the ground. Deep breath in, deep breath out. I can smell the aroma of peppermint, frankincense, and blue tansy all along my body. Slowly rotate to one side. Take your last breath or two. Ground yourself, push yourself up from Lane. And thank you guys so much for coming to week two. We'll be staying on here to answer some questions in a few more moments. See you guys next week. We'll be talking more about energy and acupuncture. Bye guys.